Good morning. Beautiful morning here. Nine o'clock and it's 90 degrees out <laughs> in here in Florida. All right, today we're gonna to be installing one of these guys. It's a surge protector. Basically, it will protect your sensitive electronics that are plugged in in your home's power grid from any surge, electrical surge. Um, lightning strikes or power outage, when the power comes back on, it sends a surge, could send a surge through your power lines, damaging sensitive electronics. Any type of, uh, any, forgive me, the sun is strong. Any type of um, smart electronics, basically your uh, computers, TVs nowadays, washing machines, anything that has sensitive electronics in it that are smart, basically, your smart appliances, this will protect it from it. And we're gonna go ahead and try to install this now. Basically what you wanna do, you wanna come to your panel and as close as possible to the main that comes in. Basically the power comes through here, through the meter, and the first breaker is what you wanna get. Try anyway, as close as possible. So you open up, in this case we have some breakers here. I'm gonna be putting this on the outside of the box. Somewhere around this side, tap in and install it. So we're talking about around here. It goes, power comes into this breaker, maybe even this one. I'm gonna be using a double pole breaker. Uh, you have the ability to do it on one, on a single pole or a double pole. I'm gonna be putting it onto this double pole breaker here. I might swap these two, flip this breaker up here and install it on that one. We'll be back. Uh, let me see if I can do this continuously. One handed. It's pretty simple. You just need a nut driver in this case. I think this is a 5 16. Undo this bolt. This is live wires, so please, you have to be very careful. Okay, after removing your panel, take a, assess the situation. In my case, I would love to have it here to be as close as possible. My wires will have the shortest run, but I'm gonna be putting it down here. You'll check your panel. You'll see if you have the option of mounting it closer and, and that'll be better for you. But all my knockouts are down here. I don't wanna drill the hole and I can't put it on this side. So main comes through here from the meter to here. You wanna shut this power off and then you'll be safe to work on this part without being electrocuted. See, these are live right now. I'm gonna be swapping my double pull breaker with this single 15 amp. I'm gonna swatch, swap places and bring my wires to there so that way they're as close as possible to the main coming in. And hopefully they'll attract any surge that comes through here before heading out anywhere else in the house. So that's what we're gonna do now. I, like I said, in my case, I'm gonna be taking the knockout from down here mounting it down here, putting my wires through, and connecting it to this breaker, which will be switched with that one. I'll do that now. All right, I just warned the homeowner that everything's gonna be shutting off now. Shut off the main, and now I'm gonna swap these breakers. These, you just pry it backwards. And we have enough wire on this G GS. CI breaker to put it there. We just swap places, that's all we're doing. Put my double pole up here. All right, power's off here, so we're pretty safe. It ends right there at those main wires. They're not They're pushing this knockout. Grab your needle nose. Lock nut. You'll have a lock nut, another lock, uh, a rubber washer, and another lock nut there to give it some back pressure once you put it in. Feed your wires through. You'll have two, two hot wires that are going to go to your line and one neutral. Get those. 
comes through. Slip your lock nut on. Get your wires organized. In this case, try to push them away. Once you get that, once you get that threaded part through, start tightening your lock nut. Sorry, the angle is probably not the best right now. You wanna, now you want to just hold on to the Second, get a flathead. I'm gonna be using the same screwdriver as one of these multi. And you wanna help twist that to tighten. To tighten. Be careful. <laughs> you can also take a hammer or ease it in. Take the edges of that lock nut to tighten. And a little bit more. Neutral, white. I'm gonna go into one of these neutral lugs. Terminals. Measure it. Figure out where you want to go. I think I want to go in this one right here. And look at your length of wire. That's what you're gonna need. Mark it. Cut back and strip. These are 10 gauge stranded, I believe. The tail might be a little long. Just a hair long. Turn it back. More like a half inch, five eighths. This one. Probably blocking you guys. So that's that. Now you want to go and do the same thing for the two line wires. They're gonna go into one pole of each of these. And these are stripped back some already. So that's perfect, but I gotta cut these wires anyway, so. You want these to be as short as possible. You don't want a long run on, you don't wanna loop these back and then try to put it in. If you can cut it, cut it. Remember the power's off, so if you by mistake touch anything on these bars, you're all right. But if you're trying to do this live, you're gonna be in trouble. If you by mistake touch anything, and you're grounded. Could be horrible. So please be safe. Make sure. box with potentially live. I checked it with the multimeter I should have showed you guys. Make sure. I think right here. Snip. Strip.
Now that we got these tight, everything's tight, we could go ahead and turn the power back on. And turn on your breaker. Now, anything that comes, a surge comes through the main, it'll come into here and immediately be drawn by the surge protector. So that's how you do that. We were, we were lucky in this case, we already had an empty double pole breaker, which I think they set these lines here for that, a uh, future circuit, but we're using it for this. And that's that. Now we're going to put our cover back on, button everything up, close this box, and go back inside, and we'll check, make sure that everything's working normally. There's going to be no change, except that you have some protection now in case of a surge. So you won't see any changes, but you will have some protection. And that's how simple it is to change out, to uh, install a surge protector. Now, this is a smaller one, like I said. You could get a bigger one. They go out, they go, who knows? I've seen them up to uh, 75,000, uh, 75 kilovolts, 75,000 volts. And I'm sure there's bigger. Um, it's just going to be a difference in price, that's all. This one was about 65 bucks. It's an Intermatic AG3000, AG series. But they have many other ones, uh, some more superior. So this is good enough. All right, now that everything's put back together, I just wanted to show you this one, the indicator light that it's on and ready. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a green light down there. It's tough to see from this angle on my camera. Wow, I can't see it on here. I hope the video's showing that. But that's on and protecting now from any surges that are gonna be coming. And that's that. So if you have any comments, leave, uh, leave them on, I read them all. And if you have any ideas on any videos that you wanna see in the future, let me know. See you in the next one.